Okay, thank you. Well, the um, work I'm going to present is the result of a, a study made mostly by a group of master students, both from University of Turin and University of Murcia in Spain, and uh, Rafaela Ferrero and myself. Um, we mostly supervise this this work. Well, um, the idea of of working on 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 the sexuality on the discourse on, on the sexuality of women um, uh, women over fifty, it came after the idea by Gain University, uh, specifically by by Alexis the the Bell, uh, to work in 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 the aspect of sexual well being. Um, uh, Rafael and myself we talk about uh, actually focusing it from a more constructive way. On, on how uh, other women, uh, uh, they construct their sexuality, how they negotiate their, their sexuality. We, we decide women over 50, especially well, both in the cases of, of Italy and Spain, but particularly in the case of Spain, we are talking about a generation who was born during the, the dictatorship and they were exposed to major uh, sociological and political change. So this we can call this uh, as a kind of sandwich generation between the most conservative uh, uh, generation before then and the most uh, uh, liberal progressive generation after after them. Uh, we take into account a mostly anthropological, and philosophical, and sociological um, corpus of of literature, starting with the, with the, with the very foundations of 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 works in 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 love and relationships, to uh, mostly focus the research and the story and their um, the um, uh, works of postmodern postmodernist uh, theories, mostly uh, Bauma, uh, Lipovetsky, but also more recently uh, uh, the works by by Hunt to contextualize the, the theoretical the work. Um, also, we conduct a, a literature review, an extensive literature review. Here are just some works that we consider important to take into account, both in an international level and in a national level. This is an online, uh, sorry, an ongoing work. Uh, uh, so the interviews have been conducted both uh, in both regions, uh, the Piemonte uh, in Italy and Murcia in Spain. Um, but in here, we are just presenting, presenting the analysis of the interviews conducted in Murcia. Uh, um, our uh, hope is soon to make a comparison, analyzing uh, interviews from women from Italy and women and women from Spain. So the the, the research question will be to hope to comprehend the perception of sexual health and um, and sexual well-being of women over fifty in in both regions. And um, uh, to do so, we are going also to establish three uh, specific aims. The first one to analyze the meaning of that women over 50, they have the concept of uh, uh, general well-being, sexual well-being and sexuality, how they connect the three concepts. A second objective will be to know the factors that influence uh, on sexual health and sexual well-being. And finally, to uh, inquire in the main chains that, took, that have been, may have been placed uh, um, um, in a lifetime and how this woman cope the strategies they use uh, uh, to face the changes. Uh, about the methodology, it's, it's mostly a, a, a qualitative approach based on non-standardized interviews. Um, about the same, the same, the sampling procedure, we follow a convenience, snowballing uh, sample, try to look for women in, in, in similar situation uh, and try to somehow uh, uh, fill the different quotas we establish. Here is how finally, this is uh, again just Murcia data from, from Murcia. And in here we have the uh, um, we have uh, um, uh, the sorry the profiles the sample profile because that for I know in a bit time time so I know to to go into into all the the details uh, regarding the interview procedures we we um, um, departing from the from the, from Goff and Hinsley uh, uh, semi structure script we develop an adapted uh, uh, interview script uh, the the interviews were conducted during the months of April May of 2021 uh, last year and um, they were mostly face to face. 
one on Zoom and two by, by telephone with a duration ranging from 50 to, 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 to 50 minutes to, to two hours. Uh, in order to analyze the data, uh, starting with, uh, with the ground the, ground the theory constant comparison model methods, uh, we use an um, um, open actual and selective uh, coding process. Uh, again, I'm going to, to go um, to uh, in detail in the in the uh, operationalization of the concept, just in there to so you can see and um, and the, we follow the, all the, the the criteria for for inclusion and of course we inform uh, the the ethics commission of the university to to conduct the interviews about the limitation and uh, some of the interviews they they were too long like and and it was hard some some sometimes to properly divert to the topics of the research uh, to the interviewees. Uh, sexuality also a topic, a topic that it was sometimes hard for, for people to talk about. And we have some problem regarding, regarding uh, um, the um, people, people exposing their, their sexuality and also uh, limitation, limitations um, regarding uh, how we can do the interview when they were online. Um, and also the places when they were face to face, sometimes it was very hard to find a neutral place, also limited by the by the epidemiological situation. I'm going to jump into into the into the uh, uh, findings. Well, um, we found that mostly sexual well-being is really related to uh, the relationship dimension. That is, uh, we found as we see now that sexual satisfaction is totally uh, linked to um, relation, relation satisfaction. So this is something that we found. So mostly like in, in order to find sexual well-being for, for women was very important to find uh, this affect, affected emotional dimension partner full and sexual satisfaction with partner totally full. Um, that's why when we found like when, uh, how do you relate sexual well-being, sexuality, we see that mostly they, they, they really lean their sexuality, the satisfaction with sexuality with an important uh, romantic component, having love in there, physical content, intimacy in effect, and how, for example, self-masturbation was uh, something that it was in, in the pictures, in the picture in most cases. So just in, in the case of an interview with, with higher level of education or, or even when we take the dimension of people who migrate, who have another an experience rather than, than a more rural background, they have a more open, um, a more open um, um, perception of self-masturbation and they have a, a openly told about that and a more positive perception of self-masturbation. Uh, in, in here again, we say like how mostly uh, sexuality uh, they're related with uh, the, the a kind of centric sexuality with the erotism, and how in very in very rare cases we found uh, women who use pornography, who use these toys, even who talk uh, openly about sexual fantasies, and of course explore alternative sexualities like, for example, BDSM. Uh, it was very very rare to find this. When we um, we try to inquire about erotism and how it was very related to nonverbal language communication, sedation techniques, sexual sexual pleasure, uh, here are some of the quotations that, that you can see. How, for example, one of the interview interview in seven, she say, "It tell me a lot about I have very pretty eyes because of the color and everything, and that's why I really like to highlight them and put makeup on them." So how the different techniques uh, they use in order to to uh, reach these erotic situations before having sexual relationships. Uh, sorry. Also, uh, um, regarding why uh, why they use or why they don't use, uh, for example, sexual toys, pornography, or, or sexual fantasy, we find how like uh, mostly they have a more a, a really traditional conception of sexuality. So mostly, as, as we 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 has. We just seen is, is uh, sexuality is mostly linked to, to the sexual partner to 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 quite a central relationships and it's very hard to to explore other alternative sexualities. We look we look also sorry in the intersection of you know, sexuality with aging and, and generations uh, gender um, and we we found up. Uh, um, influence mostly of, of beauty canons and how they are related with age 
and the different uh, expectations about the body for men and for women, how that was pres present in the, in the interviews, and also uh, the important influence of sexual taboos, also related with age, and, and, and how they, women, when they talk about this sexuality, they mostly compare with men, and, 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 and how they, uh, again, the different way of aging for men and for women and the different uh, expectation for, for them. Also, uh, one of the objectives was to look into into the change. Uh, most of most of, of the uh, of the most of women interviewed, they report some kind of shame. They talk mostly about uh, two different types of change: the positive one and the negative one. The positive the positive one they mostly relate with a chain a chain of partners. Um, how uh, uh, it was a common feature in this woman uh, they. Uh, they met their husband being very young. They 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 get married and they and and they and they they have a long relationship. Uh, so uh, for some of them, it was the only sexual partner they have. Um, in many cases, the only way to for uh, uh, the only the, uh, the only way to have a better sexual life it was actually to chain of partners so to get divorced and and to meet someone else it was the only way to 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 actually have a better sexual life and that was some, one of the positive change reported regarding negative change uh, menopause for many women was traumatic so and um, 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 because of uh, changes related with uh, sexual arouse with a uh, uh, body modification that that means uh, uh, very, uh, in, in many cases, very hard for women to cope with menopause regarding sexuality. Also, some life and social event, events, like, as, for example, the illness of the parents, when uh, in many cases we're talking about women who had to, uh, to play the role of informal care, care of the, or care, sorry, caregiver of the, of the partners, and that it was, uh, it was difficult in a lot uh, in their sexual life, breast cancer, and with the hope, also it was uh, uh, something traumatic for them. Other factors we see, like mostly how they talk when we when we ask when we ask them about sexuality, how they really put the focus a lot in intimacy, not with their partner actually, like having a fluid communication with the partner with the partner as um, a factor crucial in defining their sexual well-being. Um, Regarding the different uh, uh, strategies to cope with with chains, uh, uh, which affect uh, sexuality, uh, uh, in the case of menopause or problems with menstruation, they talk about the vaginal obat, some jaws, uh, and mostly working the communication with the partner. And in the case, uh, the sexual discomfort is not related with biological changes. Uh, it's, it's more related with uh, the emotional, the, the, the relationship satisfaction. Uh, usually we found either conformity, so people just resign that it, this, people just assume that this is the life they are going to have. And in some cases, they, they break up and they, and they, and they for another partner. Conclusions, well, I'm really sorry I had this very crowded uh, uh, slice. But I really wanted to 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 give credit to the to the students for for creating uh, these um, these nice uh, conclusions. Mostly, uh, uh, well, the results are somehow consistent with previous studies. But what what we found also very interesting is some kind of mismatch between academic literature and what we found in this particular case. How this the, uh, there is some advance, some change in the society of women that probably are more relative with uh, women from other generation and women with other social strata. We have mostly middle class, middle class and, and, and working class women, uh, uh, probably far away from the, from the more academic with higher uh, level of, of education, and higher social class. And that's why we find in, interesting, uh, interesting mismatch in the, in the, literature, in the literature. And, and also uh, writing like uh, sexual discomfort, how menop menopause is, is important, how uh, we really uh, struggle to find a similar research. Uh, no research on the biological effects of menopause on, on women, but how women construct the discourse and the strategies uh, um, to the strategies to to cope with 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 the chains that are, that are related with with sexuality. I'm going to finish here, 
I'm sorry I can't stay for for question. I really have to go, and I'm sorry for not being there. And, and, and I share the same feeling of jealousy as as Bruno. Thank you.